I thought you'd get a white collar job. No, this is the year of unions. Wait, are there like any union white collar jobs? I think that's it's typical of blue collar because usually white collar is better salaries and blue collar is characterized by like more physical manual labor. So they usually get screwed over more. Bye, go, go, go. Everybody clock in. We're working today. Working a real job. Construction fact? Um, we'll do that once I turn cam on. I gotta grab a clipboard. My sister's room, right? Because she has a bunch of like office stuff. Because you know she's a she wants to work from home. Anyway, so there's a paper on the floor right in front of the door. I almost slipped and died. Guys, I do a lot for y'all. Honestly, isn't that like a safety violation too? Leaving stuff on the floor. Okay, it's 8.56. I'm almost ready to clock on, guys. I just gotta tell everybody that we're live. Okay. I think... I'm ready. Or, 20 more seconds. I'll stall. I will stall. Enjoy the music while we have it, because I'm not going to play the music when I'm working. I'm just going to hear the buzz of the water. Guys, good morning. Good afternoon. No, it's morning. It's 8.57. Three minutes till I have to clock on for work. What is this? It doesn't matter. I'm going to have my hair tied up later anyway. Guys, another 9 to 5 shift. The last time we did this, um, my internet was taking big L's, but now I have the Comcast app so I can remotely reset it anytime I want. So hopefully, it'll be fine. Today, we're going to be playing Power Wash Similar. S similar. Today, <laughs> YouTube. I can't. Okay. Before we get started, guys, click the pinned message. Click on it. Because we are farming. I need a little bit of clout, okay? If you all could politely, if you have a little bit of time this weekend, I know you guys do. You guys watch Twitch, so you have a lot of time. Um, usually every month, um, what's it called? What's the channel? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, Big Daddy Twitch will do a stream on the front page where they react to, like, viewer with requested clips. So, guys, 
If you are a piece in underscore 17 SIMP, please submit a link or a clip to this post here. You need to, it's quoted on my Twitter, on my Twitter page, so you'll be able to find it easily. It's also pinned in chat. You have to submit it to this link. It's a Google um, quiz link. And all you need to do is submit your Twitch username, my username, and then the actual clip Twitch URL link. So if you have a favorite clip from this month, you can look through my featured clips, or you can make your own clip for my channel and submit it. Because, you know, all the big people will watch it. And we need clout, okay? So guys, VOD watchers too! This is why I'm talking about at the start. VOD watchers, submit a clip. If you submit a clip, I will give you a high five. Okay. That's what I wanted to talk about. It's not often that I like shill. But I want a chance. I wonder if they get a lot of submissions. I don't think so because what people usually will do is they'll reply to like the Twitter post, but they don't want they won't fill out the Google Drive link. Cause that's just how I assume it is, because like people are dumb. That's why guys, if you do choose to submit, I will be very happy. But submit it to the link in that Twitter post that they have. Because it makes it easier for like um, just in general, when you work for any company, not everybody's gonna have access to, like, the corporate social media account. That's why they probably made, like, a separate Google form. Similar to, um, how when I did the Valentine's and Christmas Day quizzes, I did it, like, a third-party link, because it's a lot, um, easier. Will our usernames be shown if it's picked? Maybe. I think so. But it's not like you're gonna do anything crazy, right? <laughs> I think in class with this game... We're gonna have so much fun, guys. It's nine o'clock. Time to clock in. Mega. Dude, I thought you said my name and I got so fucking scared. <laughs> I was like, mods! Okay. Guys. Let's get to work. I love this song, but it's time to work. I'm sorry. Time to work. Now, I've seen a, f a few people, like, play this game. I don't know how to play. All I know is you clean the surface, and then you get money. And then you get money to upgrade your, your, what you call it? Your equipment. And no, I did not buy the Spongebob DLC. I am a brokey. Even though I could have, because I bought this game when it was on sale, so I saved, like, five bucks, so I could have bought the DLC, but I will not. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, what else, what else? Oh, there are new Channel 4 Redemptions for today. You can leave a Smoogle review based on my performance throughout the day. Also, you can redeem a Construction Fact, which Kobobo did already. I have a list of Construction Facts. And we will pause the game and read out facts. Okay. Construction Fact number one. Concrete is the most used material. In terms of volume, concrete gets used most in the world. And actually dates back to ancient Egypt. Unfortunately, it has also been known as one of the most environmentally unfriendly. However, there's been changing thanks to great innovations that have reduced their gas emissions and permeable rendition. There's also now pollution observing cement. You usually see it in like the rich neighborhoods where they got their nice ass white sidewalks. Um, in Washington, there's a few like residential areas that have like porous um, sidewalks or cement. So like it allows for like less flooding, which is kind of cool. Um, let's play some Power Wash Simulator. Okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna have to rearrange a little bit. Let's see, power wash. Because the, the HUD in this game is in every four corners. Okay. Guys, let's play the game. <laughs> I'm two minutes late! Okay, <laughs> what I also hate is the cursor is operated by the, the joystick. Big L. Did I change any of the options? Wait, I'm gonna go full cam. I don't want to leak anything. Okay, disable vibration, obviously, we hate. Oh, I don't know any of that shit. Okay, it doesn't show my email, thank god. Okay.
Okay, start career. Juggle weird and wonderful cleaning jobs and try to make your new power wash business a success. Bonus jobs. Unique cleaning opportunities await. Replay. Revisit your favorite jobs and spend as much time as you like thoroughly cleaning them. Or challenge mode. Wash against the clock or a water limit. Beat your best results. Um, we're doing story mode. I love story. And there's, you can have up to six people. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I didn't realize there was co-op in this game. I guess it does make kind of sense. <clears throat> okay, I guess I only have one job. $150? Wait, let's do the math. Wait, I'm gonna- Okay, I'm gonna look up how much an actual power wash cleaner makes per hour. My guess is 25. Let's see, a power washer hourly wage or it could be per job okay hourly wage for a pressure wash technician in the u.s is 22 dollars as of 2023 from salary.com but the salary range typically falls between 18 and 27 so i guess mm, because i assume it's like x amount of dollars over minimum in washington our minimum right now is like 15 60 something so if the average is 27 that's like over over 10 the minimum. Do you need a certification? Oh, it also says from getcircuit.com. A successful pressure washer can make anywhere between 25 to over 60k per year on average. And with a team of four to five full-time washers, you can expect to make four to five times that amount. Okay, so it's per worker garnishes that much income. All things considered, a reasonable size pressure washing company can make 100 to 200k a year. That doesn't seem like a lot, honestly, for like a company. But for like the independent American owned, you know, blue collar worker business, a lot of the time the crew isn't that big. Like for like service calls, like technicians, HVAC people, they probably have max a crew of 10 people, if even. I'm gonna grab my water, I forgot. <clears throat> Also, there's, like, very little audio in this game, so guys, um, I might listen to my own music in my headphones later, depending. You guys can listen to your own stuff. It's gonna be a lot of from the water. And I was gonna play music, but I don't want it in the VOD. So, listen to your own tunes. Okay. Let's get started. Enough stalling. Clean the van. From Harper Shaw. Great news. Finally found a van for you at the auctions under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it. It looks like it's been dredged from the bottom of a lake. But that's a good thing. It meant no one else bid on it. They missed out, honestly. Underneath that hideous layer of gunk is your perfect workhorse. Engines a dream, no rust. There's even equipment in the back. You just need a good hosing down and you're in business. You'll certainly earn your pressure washing stripes getting this thing clean. Okay, max earnings $150. So that means it's probably going to take, like, six hours in real time. Oh, wait. They probably do, like, a flat rate for the service call. And then the worker gets, like, X amount for, like, either percentage or, like, hourly wage. I don't know. I Oh, I should look at the controls. <laughs> I, I don't ever want to work salary. I'd only want to do hourly labor. If I ever have to work again. Which hopefully I don't. I want to be on that government cheddar. Okay, use washer as R2. There's different types of soap. Dude, this is way too aggro. I'm just gonna go for it. So, I started at my daddy's <laughs> power wash business yesterday. Also, I'm playing on the Switch, so if it looks like ass, that's why. I'd be too scared to use a pressure washer on windows. I'd be scared to crack through. 
You ever go through an aquarium and be scared that the glass is gonna shatter? I know what's happened. Because there's a few aquariums here in Washington. There's one in Seattle, there's one in Tacoma. And I've been to both when I was younger. Because they would offer like free zoo tickets like for the summer reading programs. And little me would be so scared every time I went. Because I love the aquarium, but I'd still be so scared of it like cracking. Oh, and at the um, Tacoma Aquarium, I might go there soon. Because I, I live kind of close to Tacoma. Anyway, um, at the Tacoma Aquarium, there's, imagine like this big circle in the middle of the aquarium. And the whole top, there's no glass. So you, there's like a railing and you can look down at the fish and shit. Where's the hickey? Shut up! I'm hiding it today. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Anyway, because you can like pay like 20 bucks to feed the little fish in the tank. And it, it's scary. Because <laughs> you know what, like, I don't, okay, I have intrusive thoughts sometimes. But I don't have the thoughts where I want to, like, um, do crazy shit. Like, I know some people will have, like, the feelings that, oh, I want to, like, jump in the aquarium. No, I never thought that. I would just be scared that it would break. Do I have to clean underneath the car? I have those, like, crazy... Yeah, I had to be very careful how I worded that phrase. But I, I never had the, the thought to, like, want to jump in the aquarium. Because I was still rational enough to be like, oh, I would drown. Change the nozzle? No backseat gaming. Um, leave a review if you want to critique me. Jeez. <coughs> Sorry, man. Just because I'm new doesn't mean you can tell me what to do. My daddy taught me everything I know. <laughs> How do I even change the nozzle? 25 degree. So. Anyway, I might go to the aquarium soon. I've been wanting to go, but it's like kind of a hassle to get here. Or not here, to Tacoma. Because, like, in Washington, I think the public transit is pretty good, but it's hard to, like, get from city to city sometimes. Holy, it's so shiny. My god. Am I supposed to get, like, 100%? Okay, I will move this group down. There we go. Perfect. So, you guys come here often to my garage? <laughs> okay. Easy. Door cleaned. Is Okay, I know on the top left, it'll say, like, what percentage is cleaned of whatever your cursor is on. I know that. Construction fact? Um, use your channel points. Dude, this is gonna take all day. Construction fact? The famous lunch atop a skyscraper picture is real. There was some debate about this picture from 1932, showing 11 men eating lunch on a beam from the GE building. One of the big reasons for the controversy is that the photographer wasn't identified until 2003. This picture, which was originally used for a commercial poster, became a famous icon and has been recre recreated with well-known actors in the late 20th century. It turns out the original picture incredibly had no alterations or darkroom tricks made to it. Okay, what is the lunch atop a skyscraper? Your bits crack me up. It's not a bit, that's a real fact. Jeez. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll find the picture for you guys. Lunch atop a skyscraper. I think I know what this picture is. Oh, this is a different one I was thinking about. It looks like they it. Why would- why would they like do that? They look like children. <laughs> 
Zara, the way the anatomy is, like, their legs look really short. <laughs> they look like little kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I should turn my phone back on. It's so quiet. I hate this. There's, like, a little bit of, like, white noise in the game, but it's I can barely hear it. Back to work. Why'd I pick up the clipboard? I'm changing my nozzle. I hate this one. Wow. Owen Wilson. <laughs> so, you guys come to my garage? <laughs> oh, wait, this is my van! I, guys, imagine if I had, like, a piece in 17 van. That would be such a bad idea. Because then everybody would know where I'd be. That's why, like, for tour vans, it's not often you see, like, people have, like, um, signage on the actual van. Because then you'd have, like, crazy fans following you. Like, Jojo Siwa's car. I feel like if you have those type of cars, you should keep them at home. Or you use them for a photo shoot and then never use it again. Or get a different wrap on it. I think the prettiest car wrap I ever done saw was when I was like 12 years old. And there was this black car. It was speeding. But it had like this rainbow chrome effect and it literally looked like a galaxy. It was so pretty. If I ever had, like, money to get a custom color or wrap on my car, I'd probably get, like, a bright turquoise. Or green. I think green would go crazy. Can you wash my car? Stop peeling paint. Just be careful. Um, I do charge $50 per hour. So if it's in your budget, then sure, I'll add, add it to my, um, queue. Call the secretary. She's cute. I mean, I did not say that. <laughs> I will welcome in... Please don't file workplace harassment. I'm gonna get one of those anime girl wraps. Oh, dude, it's so cringe seeing, like, anime shit in public. Like, I understand that it's a bit more mainstream now, but... Dude, there was this one guy on the bus- They looked like a teenager, okay? Um, and he had this black anime- it had, like, anime panels on it, but it was, like, original artwork. It wasn't from, like, a franchise or anything. But it had, like, the anime gr girl doing, like, explicit things. Like, not, like, smashing, but, like, it had, like, goop illustrated and, like, hands where it's kind of, like, suggestive. And the, the kid wore it on the bus! And I was staring at him, like, you're ruining it for everybody. Like, what are you doing? And the bus driver, like, as the kid walked on, was like, looking at him like that <clears throat> and it's just like you're ruining our reputation man like come on don't be the little cliche weed who can't keep it in his pants you mean you won't get a goku stencil on your hood no i've never watched dragon ball and i have no interest okay cancel me i i see a, like a surprising amount of Five Family stickers of the little girl. I don't... I like the Spy Family anime. Okay, it's cute, but it's like, why does everybody attach themselves to the little girl character? I don't... I don't get it. No entiendo. Damn, 35% done. I should start speedrunning. Oh wait, maybe the reason why they probably charge like a straight out fee for service work is so people like me don't stall. Spy Family is so fun, guys. If you like the Spy Family anime, you should watch um, Get Smart. It's like Get Smart. It's like Spy Family, but in real life. Easy. Damn, I've made ten dollars so far. <laughs> I'm so good at my job.
I can buy a soda pop. Oh, I forgot. I have a lemonade downstairs. I was gonna do a bit. Um, because you know how everybody brings in, like, a dark colored water bottle that's not clear so they can put, like, substances in it? I was gonna do that bit today, but it has, like, my sister's old company logo on it. So I can't. I couldn't do a bit. Oh, wait, I could have done a paper bag. I don't have paper bags, though. What, okay, what utility do paper bags have? Anyway. Because when I go shopping, I always bring my reusable bag. I have no- I, I very rarely use a plastic or paper. And paper bags are flimsy as fuck. Like, at, at my Winko, they use paper bags now, and they always break. Like, I don't get why people do it. You bought the Spongebob DLC too? I was debating. But you know what? I will only buy the DLC if I like this game. Not saying that I hate my job. I love my job. I love my dad's um, power wash business that he gave to me. Um, but I wasn't willing to cough up the however much it comes. You know, we gotta be making a profit first. Oh yeah, I know that plastic was like banned in New York, but in Washington, it's not- it's banned, but if you get a plastic bag from the shop, they charge you a few cents. Which isn't that bad, because like, I usually use the plastic bags for trash. Because everybody has like a mini trash can in their room, so I usually use, um, used plastic bags for it. Oh, you used a gift card to buy it? Oh yeah. Gift, card, gift cards are superior. I suck at giving gifts, and I'd much rather have people give me a gift card or just money. Because I like having full, like, control over what I get. I hate having clutter. I don't like getting gifts that I don't like, so I feel bad. And I'm also very picky. Can I move this? I don't want- Oh! <laughs> Stop! Oh, it's- it's the left D-pad. Now stay. Stay. I wish that they had more durable, like, fabric tote bags. Can I crouch? Okay, let's see. How do I crouch? Stance mode? Maybe that's it? Hey! I'm in. Easy. Why are you saying oh? Oh. <laughs> I'll make it dance. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, let me fix that. <laughs> Did everybody see an oh no in the chat? I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I can hear you? Okay, good. Is the game audio synced? No. Okay. Reset. I don't think so. Fuck! It was synced earlier. I love my computer. Maybe it's time for an upgrade. It's synced now. So guys, your job throughout the day is tell me if anything goes wrong or if it desyncs, okay? That is your job. I do the washing, you guys do the monitoring, okay? Thank you. 
Anyway, back to work. What were we talking about? Plastic bags. Me and the homies hate plastic. We should just ban all plastics. One could say you do the washing and we do the washing. <laughs> washing. Wait, what? I mixed it up. <laughs> One could say you do the washing and we do the watching. That sounds like the intro to, um... Anyway. Anyway. Wait, wait, look at the poses bottom right. Is this the army? <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to work. Please don't tell HR. It's reminiscent of the cliche, you know, you sit down and look pretty, and I'll wash the dishes tonight, honey. It's like that. He's getting written up. No! My dad's gonna get so mad. I wonder how much water it takes. Is this wasteful? Why can't I just like scrub it clean? Th this genuinely feels so wasteful. Wait, it's a car. We literally could have gone to a car wash. <gasps> what? From Harper's Shop. There's a removals van outside my nightmare neighbor's place. They're finally going. Whoever moves in there is got. Okay, I I missed it. I need the lore. Oh, messages. All right. Whoever moves in there is gonna need a quality pressure washer. Why? Why was he texting me that? I already have it though. Certain gram is really hard to take off. I mean, but we still could have, like, gone through a wash first. After you get to certain percentages, you're going to get messages coming from that side. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I think I'll move cam left side then. I'll put it... Do, do, do. I'll put it here. Because I don't need the tutorial buttons. I love power wash simulator. Car wash costs money. I have money. I own a power washing business. How would I not have money? Anyway, guys, we're 30 minutes in the stream. I'm 30 minutes into my shift. If you like what you see, follow my channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Smile. Girl, you got $19? Shut the fuck up. You classist scum. <laughs> don't don't talk to HR, please. I, I need this job. Oh, what? What? Oh wait, it's probably easier for me to go side to side. You know, like Ariana Grande. Did I watch the Hassan Leftovers debate? Um, it was a bit, right? Damn, you're good at this? Oh, I thought- Damn, I thought you said good at this game. <laughs> Nineteen dollars and thirty minutes? That's that is pretty good honestly. <laughs> but no, I, I did not watch the leftovers episode. I don't watch a lot of leftovers because like sometimes I feel like the H3 podcast is like almost too much. Like there's a lot of sound bits and a lot and it became like React contents. I haven't watched in a long time, but I watch like clips sometimes. And I sometimes watch leftovers. But did I stream yesterday? Yeah, I streamed yesterday, so I couldn't watch it live. I 
don't know. I, I feel like everybody has the right to um, vote however they like, conduct themselves however they like, but you should still advocate for others. And not everybody's gonna be a socialist, okay? Like, I, I watched like the first five minutes of the episode and then I fell asleep. Um, but I think it's because socialism is still, it goes against the very ideology of like independence which is what America is like founded on, like individualism, I think is a better word. Like pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, you know? And socialist policy does not really um, encourage individualism. It's about collective, collectiveness. And I think that's why a lot of people can't get behind it, even if they like the amenities from it. Wait, is that clean? I can't tell what is like, just scratches in the car. Get back to work. Yeah, but one day I'll be rich and then- Exactly! Every- Oh, dude. That is another way to describe it. Because the reason why a lot of older people are Republican or fiscally Republican is because when you're older, you're probably more likely to have some form of assets. You'll have probably more cars, a house. And a lot of socialist policy punishes the people who have assets or wealth through like taxes and shit. Which is why old people vote Republican because they don't want their assets to be diminished. From Harbershaw. You gonna go with that business name or do you need me to think something up? I'm phenomenal. I thought up Grounding Thomas for the Tyler and she never looked back. I thought up ground Grouting Thomas for that Tyler. That's such a weird business name. On reflection, Bonnie Tyler might have been a better fit. Is he talking about like RP? His OC? For his for his Wattpad power wash fan fiction? Like what? If they're old, though, they won't need the assets for long. Hey, that's a bit too much. My grandma's 98. No, wait, I think she's like 97. But anyway, socialism good. Capitalism is also bad. Um, but a lot of people don't understand why it's bad because it's all they really know. I think that's the biggest thing. <laughs> Sorry, I just imagine just spraying the ceiling. <laughs> Doing my job. It's part of it. This is a nice game to like veg out to. Like, I don't think I'd play this in my spare time, but I see why people like it. I do think it's funny that we can use the strongest pressure and it doesn't break the book. Well, that's what I was saying earlier. I was like, how am I not smashing the windows? Can't brew it in my new van. Wait, that kind of looks like. Enhance. Zoom in. The dirt on the window kind of looks like a skeleton in my opinion. Somebody zoom in. This game is fun if you have something playing in the background. Well, I don't. Because my daddy does not allow me to go on my iPhone when I'm at work. Because I'm too busy texting the Instagram girls. <laughs> Making my wife mad. <laughs> so he took my phone away. <laughs> Okay, I think the only part left is the top, and then maybe some touch-ups.
I'm in. Why is there... Oh, that's bird poop. I thought it was something else. Oh, okay, so you can see the specs. Nice. It's from the Instagram girlies? Oh my god. Stop. 13 plus chat. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, I think I'm almost done 93. How have I only made $36? I need to unionize. I hope every other job is as easy as this one. This ain't that bad. Where am I? Oh, I missed a lot. Okay. Bumpers, grill, hubcaps, tires. I know the back tire I need to do. Okay, bumper, grill, hubcaps. Where's the hubcap? It's the silver part of the wheel? Oh! Thank you. I don't know nothing about cars. My daddy bought me a Lamborghini, but all I know is that it goes vroom vroom. <laughs> oh, it's the little screws. Army's dance. Oh, I gotta get in there. I need one that has that goes like like this. That way I can go under. Okay, bye, man. Easy. Okay. Almost done, y'all. Oh, this one. Easy. From Calvin Member. From Calvin Miller. Is this the extraordinary Dr. Power Wash? I got your details from your friend Harper. I could really do... <laughs> Dude, they pop up so quickly. Okay. 
Oh, look at me go. Damn, not bait. From Harper. Van looks fantastic. Okay, that took about 30 minutes. <laughs> Told you it'd be fun under the grime. I pinged you the $100 left over from what you gave me, so that should help get you off the ground. Also, just met my new neighbor over the fence, grumbling about his dirty backyard, and told him to give you a shout. Looks like you got your first customer. See? Y'all. The way that small businesses take off is through word of mouth. So either getting decent Google or Yelp reviews in the very start. That way new people who search you will find reviews about your business. And also like just friends and family talking about your business and referring you to other people. That is how you make your first like core um, customers and returning customers too. So guys, um, can I get a Smoogle review? I think that'll help me a lot. Oh, I, I didn't... Huh. Ooh, from Calvin Mill. Muckingham. Hey, Doc. I know... I hope you like the challenge, because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. That's not me bragging, by the way. I had, not, I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back to town for a bit to help my folks, who are both down to the last knee, and rented what I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't any garden picks in the end. They must have bred rhinos here or something. Anyway, my girls are itching to get out there, and I don't want them still itching when they get back inside. So please, do your thing. Thanks a lot. Hey, you. $450? Holy moly, that's so much money. And I love money. It said loading dirt. Holy. What even happened here? It looks like there was an explosion or something. Everything is black. How does this happen? Holy. This is going to take all day. I mean, I am working a 9 to 5. So I will be here all day. I like the number 15. Even though my favorite number is 17. From Calvin. Funnily enough, my first girlfriend, Florence Perez, used to live here back in the day. Those were good times. We actually fucked in that shed back there. My goal is to do 100% on every single clean that I do. Because here at Peace In Power Washing, we only do the best. Or don't expect nothing but the best. Wait. Expect. God damn it. Expect nothing but the best. We are here to wash your worries away. Nothing to fear for Peace In is here. I think the hardest part is like manipulating the angle, like the camera too. But it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. I'm indifferent about having brick in like gardens and stuff. It's nice contrast because like the red against the green, but. Bricks are too wobbly. I'd rather have like dirt or bark paths instead of like brick or cobblestone. Because 
my mom, she wasn't the cliche, like, oh, let's do renovations every year. They would, like, redo the garden, like, every two years. Like, there was a phase where my mom had cobblestone, and then she wanted brick, and then she wanted moss. And then she didn't want moss anymore, so she wanted, like, dirt and then bark. So my poor dad had to redo the garden every, like, two years. I mean, but it gave him something to do. And he likes handiwork, so. <laughs> Easy. Damn, the grill was green? Oh, wait, is that a reflection? Or is it actually green? Oh, it's a reflection. Damn. Textures on this are crazy. Why can't I see myself in the reflection? I want to see my beautiful face. Surprisingly, the noise of the water is not, like, annoying me yet. I think it's because it- because, like, it just sounds like my normal tinnitus. <laughs> Easy! Damn, Felicia's gonna love her new backyard. Why did homie not get a grill cover? I feel like that's pretty standard. And like, you can't be leaving shit out in the rain. Holy, oh, it's so dirty. It's just like, how are y'all letting it get this bad? A mental illness, let's be honest. Because I know my <laughs> my parents' backyard is kind of gnarly. Because, you know, once you have, like, a life, it's hard to take care of your home sometimes. Like, when you have kids, you got a full-time job. So it's like you have to sacrifice your time with your kids or your family to clean. And it's just like, everybody has different priorities, so I, I, I get why mess happens. You haven't seen the worst of it? Please don't. <laughs> as long as we don't get a hoarder's house, I think I'll be fine. My arms are probably gonna be like jelly at the end of the day. I assume you gotta be strong too to hold the nozzle.
make it rain. It's part of your workout plan? Yeah, my arms are gonna be huge. Wait, look. They're already kind of big. I got, I'm bulky. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I don't work out. <laughs> the most I do is walk or bike. I can't do any arm stuff. I mean, I should. I should. It's just weights are expensive. Because I wanted to get some 10 and 25, like, handlebars. But they were, like, 80 bucks. I'll, I'll have to have Santa this year. This year, I'm asking Santa for weights and a cat. Let's see what he gets me. Walking is a pretty good way to exercise, yeah. Because it gets your whole body moving. I usually go for one or two walks a day. This game is so satisfying. <laughs> God, I, I, dude, my mind. I can't. It's so nice when you find the right angle. What does the arrow do? Oh, okay. I thought the arrow just meant like, oh, complete the job. I wonder if I could just end the job like this. Just be like, oh, I'm done. Oh my god, it's so dirty. <laughs> you know what else is dirty? Running ads. Because guys, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just kidding, it's September, so all new tier 1s are up to 25% off. Guys, click subscribe, see if you have a discount or a Prime sub available. Smile. Hi, Mac. Dude, I have to do this for 8 hours. I don't know how people do real jobs, I'll be honest. Is this supposed to be a long stream? Read the title. I'm working a 9 to 5, baby. Hashtag not clickbait. You thought I would lie? Oh, wait, Will, you're new. <laughs> I forgot. I thought it was a joke. No, it's real. It's real. I think I... Um, I did... I did Zoo. I did Spongebob. I did, like half of a 
bakery one and I'm yeah it's part of the bit and it's actually kind of fun because <laughs> a lot of these work some games you kind of get to like veg out a little bit because a lot of it's just like repetition like traditional work I'm off work so I'm not that busy today guys who's gonna stay for the whole nine to five type one I mean this is a good stream Ooh, I'm in your bushes <laughs> Okay, this is a good day to grind some channel points. Or leave a smoke review! My foot's asleep. Thank you, Mac. We love the lurkers. Oh, dude, my foot's asleep and it's distracting me so much. How am I supposed to like get in here? Oh, I don't have- okay, the inside is not dirty, apparently. Cooker hood? Hmm. Oh my god, I missed this whole side. <laughs> Oopsie. I was too busy listening to my music. I can see myself getting tinnitus from this. Not, not from the game, but like from the actual job. Would I be able to get workers call? I think that grill is fully done. Wait, let's see. Yeah, I got it all done. Man, that was two, four, five, only seven dollars? I think I need to unionize. Seven hours to clean the whole grill? Bruh. Well, back to work. I guess. It'd be cool if they added physics for the things in the background, like, imagine just all the bark flying.
It must be pretty hard to talk to each other as you're working. <laughs> like, you're just... Hey! Hey, Bob! I need the tool over there! And the guy's like, What? <laughs> I need the tool! <laughs> I can't. Hi, Robin. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. What did I come back to? Betty! Hi, Batty. It's been a while. Can we get some yos? Welcome in, guys. I'm working a job, obviously. I'm a blue-collar worker now. Is it not clear? Read the title. Not gonna lie, this birdhouse kind of uggy. Is actually so satisfying though. I know. Bad chest. <laughs> Dude, I remember watching Squeaks play this game like a month or so ago. <laughs> the whole chat was just like, Bat chest so satisfying. <laughs> it was the funniest shit. I know Bat chest is like the ironic emote, but I think it's hilarious. See, what am I missing? My wife at home. Obviously. Guys, don't worry. I am doing 100%. Oh my god. That is disgusting. I am doing 100% completionist run today. Stream ends when I beat the whole game. <laughs> Imagine. That would be insane. I don't think I'm, like, tall enough. Explain to me why I don't have, like, brushes or some shit. This is dumb! I hate my job. You know what else? I hate my wife, Sheila. <laughs> I can't! Oh, wait, it's done. Thank God. Easy. Don't worry. Your poor wife? At least I'm working to get food on the table. All she does is take care of the grubby kids. Free Sheila? Don't, don't. Guys, don't start this. <laughs> Wouldn't this be like the dream? This is the dream backyard. I don't think I could ever live in the middle of nowhere. I think I want to live in the city. I can't imagine being like... 
a block away from your neighbor. You know what I mean? I would get bored. What happened to this yard? Is there lore? Apparently, like, the guy who lives here now, like, fucked his old, like, high school crush in the backyard or something. Um. But this was, like... He wanted to help his dying parents, so he rented a house nearby. And, like, the house was nice, but the backyard is disgusting. Maybe the old tenant did, like, experiments, and it, like, there was an explosion. I don't know. I mean, we'll get more lore once, once we get more text messages. Because, you know, all the people who are lonely, they will just spill all their tea and shit right when they talk to you. It's kind of nice. It's like free primetime television. That's why I like talking to people at the bus. Because, <laughs> you know, they just be spilling all their shit sometimes. How is the water dirty? Oh my god. Is this like a faux pond? This is disgusting. What if for next week's subathon I just played Power Wash Simulator the whole time? Would you guys hate that? <laughs> I won't, I won't. You'd be okay with that? Wouldn't that be like boring as fuck though? People would not subscribe just to end the stream. <laughs> pond is empty. This is like the cement on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> you will pay me to stop? I do think the idea of reverse subathons is interesting, but then I feel like reverse subathons only work if you have like a lot of oilers. Because <laughs> like for a channel my size, I don't get many donations anyway, so it would just be like a normal stream. <laughs> what if from this point on, I just titled every stream I did subathon? Imagine how many clicks I would get. Oh, I have to get in the rocks? That's so dumb. I was just gonna say, why can't they just clean it themselves, but it's like, they're paying me so much money to clean. And I just capitalize off people being lazy, or being physically unable to do labor. No, I am not ableist. People are more likely to click on a subathon, yeah. It's cause like, everybody knows what a subathon is, so like... It's kinda like, if you see like, a random personality you don't know doing like, a reddit- or not a reddit, like a meme react, you kind of know what to expect. And you'll probably like the premise without knowing the personality. That's why a lot of people do TikTok reacts. Unlike YouTube or Twitch, because everybody likes TikTok reacts. It's kind of like normie. You don't know- you didn't know what a subathon was until you watched mine? I guess. I think it's because it's still kind of niche. I hate seeing like this green hue on the rocks. Like why are the rocks so shiny? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, if this were me, I would just be scrubbing. Nothing beats the strength of these hands. 
I just don't have the strength for it anymore. Not after the accident. Only 10% done? Don't remind me. Army stance. <laughs> just like you look over at the cleater and you just do with this. It's like, don't worry, ma'am, I'm working. Not doing any of that tomfoolery. Does it not rain there? The reason why there's so much shit is because it rains. Oh, wait, if we said... Wait, if it rained, it would wash it away. Ah, I could go either way. It's tan tan. Back to work. Even if I'm pressure washing, I still work for Amazon. No time off task. Talking about Amazon, um, I see so many ads on like buses and billboards being like, oh, apply to Amazon. No interview required. Who have you worked today? And it's just like, that's me is psychotic. <laughs> Like, I understand that interviews are, like, kind of dumb and stupid and superficial anyway. But it's like, wouldn't you want to know somebody before you, like, hire them? Like, what if they're a psycho? Or, like, a creep. Hi, I'm at work. Me too. Me too, Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Can we get some yo's? Thank you. 19 months? Holy shit. Thank you. You are working, yes sir. And I'm technically um, making more money than you. Because my pressure washing business, I get paid an average of um, $25 an hour. I'm doing real work. Yes. Pond is done. But have fun at work, Emmy. I don't know if you can hear me, but have fun. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh. Oh. Guys, make sure you clean under the shelves in your bathroom. Or under the counters. Dude, I tasked my sister with deep cleaning the bathrooms because she's going on a weekend trip and she didn't clean it before she left this morning. So, because I do most of the cleaning in the house, but her job is to do the fucking bathrooms. And she hasn't done it in like a month. So, like, the sinks are gross. The shower is gross. I do clean my tub that I use. I clean my own tub. Okay. But I think the grossest spot in the bathroom is in the fucking sink. Because that's where you spit, like, your toothpaste and shit. Like, the backsplash in the sink is the worst. And, like, my sister and my roommate, they're kind of, like, pussies. So, like, they don't like doing drain shit. I don't mind cleaning the drain. I don't mind it. Like, if you put gloves on, it's fine. It's fine. Like, as long as you don't have any open wounds or, like, cuts on your fingers, you're fine. Just put on gloves and you'll be good. Hmm. 
Man, this game is so satisfying. Okay. Anyway, so she didn't clean the bathroom, so I might have to. If I if I just pressed left on the D-pad, it just auto sprays. Wait, that's kind of nice. I'm wasting water, but I don't care. Oh my god, this disgusting. It's not your water bill, exactly. Do you get it? Oh wait, this is so much easier now. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I'm not wasting any water. How is this on this thing? I'm doing a pretty good job if I say so myself. Not bad. I just noticed. Instead of moving the camera, it's just moving the nozzle. I think I messed with my settings. It's fine. This is actually easier. Because I think the hardest part about these games is navigating the camera in perspective. a nice backyard. How could you let it go to shit? Yeah, when we moved into this unit, like, we had to- we- I mean me, because I was the only one not working at the time. Um, I basically had to deep clean the whole unit. Because my roommate, he was living here for like a month before my sister and I moved in, and he didn't clean at all. Like, he didn't even have any, like, silverware in the house ready for us, and it's like, bruh. So my sister had to buy, like, basically everything in the home. He only had two towels! And he never washed them. <laughs> he didn't have any hand towels. Nothing. Men SMH, dude. So much shit. <laughs> I had to deep clean the kitchen. Every single bedroom had to be wiped down. Because before I moved in, the unit was empty for a while. But it wasn't, like, clean before. Yeah, he was eating out all the time. He had, like, ramen. He didn't- He doesn't know how to cook. So there was, like, nothing in the kitchen either. And it's just, like, bruh. So when my sister and I move out, like, we're just taking everything. Because technically she bought. And the bozo? Okay. I have it. Okay. I'm gonna rant for a minute. I've expressed to him that, like, taking out the trash is sometimes hard for me. Because, like, obviously I, I can't lift too much some days. And it's his fucking job. He's not home right now. <laughs> he can't hear me talking shit. But, like, it's his job to take out the trash. And I know it's little, it's something little, but it's like. I have limitations. Sometimes I can't take out the trash. That's just how it is. Um. Anyway. So, 
and I have to remind him like every single week or like whenever the bin is full I have to remind him to do it and I don't want I'm not his mommy okay like I don't like bossing people around oh wait I kind of do but I don't like reminding people because it's like you're an adult you should like do shit on your own like I'm not your little reminder you know anyway he doesn't take out both trash bins and he didn't like take the trash out either so it missed the trash day so it's like bruh it's not that hard literally the trash is his only chore I do everything else and it's like, yeah, he works full time, but it's like, come on, I don't know. And it's, I feel weird complaining about it to him because it's like, it's not my place. But then it's like, because what happened one week was like, the landlord, so, because his dad owns the unit we live in. So the landlord, his dad, texts me. He's like, why didn't you take the trash out? I'm like, it's not my job. And I said, I, I physically can't take off the bins. It's like, you'll have to tell your son to do it. And then my roommate got bitched at. <laughs> but that was like two weeks ago. And he still doesn't take all the trash. Bozo. I don't know. Um, guys, just do your chores. Please. Don't be annoying. Because, like, I don't mind if people are a bit lazy. I think sloth, or the character trait sloth is normal. But it's like, take initiative. Or do what you're assigned to do. It really irks me. Because, like, my sister, she's gotten a lot better about ta taking initiative. It seems like a very simple thing, right? Like, if you see if somebody's struggling, you ask if they need help. Like, my sister didn't understand that concept for a long time. Because she just struggles with empathy. Which is fine. I get it. But she'd be like, oh, do you want help with your chores today? And I'm like, yes. I know, it just seems like basic shit that people should learn when they're younger, but... I guess it just doesn't stick anymore. Most of it, okay. Oh, there's so much to do. Oh my god, this is gonna take like a whole day. <gasps> it kind of reeks of. His mom does everything and now he's this. You guys want to hear some tea? He's not home. He won't hear me. So, his parents live very close to us. So, his mom does his laundry sometimes. Because for his work uniform, it has to be, like, ironed and pressed. So, like, his mom will, like, wa wash his work clothes. And she still... She still, like, makes him lunch and dinner every day. So, like, he'll either go over to his parents' house every night, or they'll, like, pack him a lunch for work. Isn't that wild? And he's, like, how old is he? He's a few years younger than me. I think he's, like, 22. But they don't live in the same house. Or not, yeah, because we live in a duplex, but his parents have their own house. So it's, like... I can understand wanting to, like, take care of your kid, but if your kid is a grown-ass adult, like, they should have some semblance of independence, right? And I've tried to express this, because this roommate is my sister's friend. Like, I don't, I didn't know him until we moved in together. Um, so I learned a lot more about, like, his psyche and shit once we started living together. But I was like, you know, don't you want to, like, live on your own one day? It's like, I don't know. And it's like, bro. <laughs> Like, nobody's gonna play mommy for you forever, you know? I don't know. I think it's because, like, I'm the total, total opposite in the sense of, like, if I can do something on my own, I will do it. Like, if I need to go do errands or go to the doctors, like, I'll go by myself, I'll take the bus, I don't care. Like, I don't like asking for help. 
And it's not that I'm like hyper independent. It's just like if I can do something on my own, I want to be able to do it on my own. You know what I mean? Because I understand that like your authoritative or like caretaker figures will not always be in your life. So you you have to learn how to do things on your own. Like you have to sometimes fail and then figure it out. See, Mac, that's all that's the another tangent I was going on to. Do you think some of it is being disabled and you kinda gotta prove yourself that you can, or is it a pride thing? It it's kind of both. Because um I didn't really talk about this yesterday, but when I went to the doctor on Wednesday, like, I, I have to go to, like, a neurologist, which is a specialist for nerve or brain issues. Like, not mental health, like, if your brain is actually fucked. Um, for chatters who don't know, I have, um, a condition where my brain sticks out of my skull, and then also, um, spinal cord, spinal cord cysts, so non-cancerous masses in my spine, um, which affects my nervous system. So basically, every few months, I have to go in and get checkups. Um, every once in a while, I'll need to get MRIs. But typically, neurological problems will start in, like, your um, late 40s to, like, when you're elderly. So it's not very common that young people like me have these type of conditions. Because usually, it's just natural, um, your body naturally, like, um, deteriorating over time. But since I have a birth defect... Um, my symptoms show showed up sooner. So it's very like hard going to the doctor sometimes because I'll sit in the lobby and I will see like elderly people with like um, canes or walkers or mobility scooters and I'm just sitting there like oh that's gonna be me or that's gonna be me in like 10 years and where was I going with this? So going back to the pride thing there's a part of me that is like, I want to enjoy my like mobility while I have it and be able to do things on my own. Because I, I, I very much appreciate that I can do some things on my own and I am able to do a lot or a lot more than other people could who have my um, conditions. But it's also kind of like hanging on to the idea that like I'm okay. And this is obviously things that I've had a good amount of time to process. Like, if you would have, Mac, if you would have said that shit like six months ago, I would have cried. <laughs> um, but now that I have had like, what month is it? September. I've had like a little over six months to process everything and kind of accept it. Like, this is my new reality. I feel a bit more ready to tackle and face it every day. Also, just my mental health is gradually getting better. Um, oh, Joe, what's up? Do you like bikes? I can do it with someone riding their thing over my deadbeat dirt bike. Their thing? <laughs> Is he flirting? Oh, from Calvin. Florian and I would climb up and down that rock at an all day, pretending we were on Rumblin's Mount Rushless, and the pond was the crater. Oh, Florian was the girl he fucked. I have no idea how we explain the fish being there, though. Is he trying to, like, riz me up? <laughs> no, I think the motorcycle guy is trying to fuck. But anyway. I think it's like, I also just like taking public transit over cars. Like, I feel so much safer in a bus. Like, if a bus crashes, like... Granted, there's no seatbelts on the buses. But I feel like the bus could, like, tank a hit. Versus a car where I would, like, go bring bring. Also, like, people are fucking stupid. Like, drivers are dumb. I've also had, like, way too many Lyft or Uber drivers drive way too recklessly. So it's like, I don't really trust it as much anymore. Like, I'll still take one if I absolutely need to, but I don't wanna. If I can take the bus, I'll take the bus. Hmm. 
<laughs> Me a dumb driver? Don't self-report. The CIA is watching. I'm apparently their favorite stream to watch. I don't know why. I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> it is kind of funny picturing like a government worker like coming home and turning on like a YouTube video. What do you think they watch? Because they probably see the most, like, sad shit on their day-to-day. -day. They're, ju they're just like, oh yeah, tens of thousands of kids are starving every day. Let me go turn on Mr. Beast. Him as a government worker? Ain't no way. She watches you? <laughs> True crime, girly. <laughs> Like, do detectives go home and watch, like, C uh, CSI or some shit? And they watch a critiquing, like, oh, I wouldn't have done that, or that guy died that way. Your dad is a government worker? Nice. Are you guys scared about the government shutdown? I honestly don't care. It's just the Senate and the House of Repres Representatives just being silly. Um, just take all the money away from the police. Easy. <laughs> oh, he works for funeral services? Sad. I was watching this one clip and it was like an anecdotal story about like how a family member passed away in the hospital and they got upset like hearing like nurses and stuff laugh in the hallway and a really good point that someone brought up um, is that if you're in an environment to where you're like facing like traumatizing things like on the daily or constantly throughout your day like you have to find moments to where you can decompress and have a little bit of fun. And they were saying that um, hospitals should have like a separate like break room for staff. That way they can have a separate area to like be chill or calm down and not appear to be like unknowingly insensitive to people. And I think that was a really good point. Because my grandpa before he passed, he was in the hospital almost every day because he suffered from a few strokes. And this was when I was in middle school, so I was like 13, 14 at the time. And it was weird hearing like the nurses and stuff in the hallway, like having like cheerful conversations about like their Starbucks order and stuff. But you do have to remember that they're still human. And in order to like do their job, they're hot. They can't be being sad all day, you know, like that would break them. Even more so than the job already does. The government is shutting down? Well, the government in terms of, like, only government workers. So, like, essential services, so, like, um, probably postal services, transportation services will still be in action. I don't think that's the right word. We'll still be active, but it's just because the fiscal year ends in September. So that's when they determine like the annual budgets, essentially. So any government job that receives the budgets like will be temporarily closed if the Senate does not come to agreement on how to how the budget should be spent. Is like in layman terms what's going on. It's like an annual thing. The government doesn't shut down every year. I mean, I feel like most government jobs are like essential anyway, like there's a reason why they're run by the government. Guys, is streaming an essential job? <laughs> Hmm. 
Watch this. One shot. Damn it. <laughs> this is why I can't play Valorant. Valorant. My aim would be so bad. Yes, guys. No, I, I genuinely do think entertainment is an essential job. Because going back to the point earlier of, like, um, certain workers need escapism, like... A lot of entertainment is seen as that. Like, it's your wind-down time, it's your way to think about other things when you're at home. It's your TV time. Yeah, exactly, Wheel. Like, they're probably dealing with, like, tens of patients at a time. It's like, they can't carry the weight of every single person on them all the time. Oh, and going back to this... Um, back when I was in counseling, um, <laughs> um, I was very, like, aware of everything in the sense of, like, I went, to, I went into counseling knowing a lot of the terminology and shit, um, so, I remember there was one session where I was doing a little bit of trauma dumping, and at the end, I was, I asked my counselor, I was like, hey, I'll, are there, like, resources in place for you guys as professionals to, like, have time to, like, compress, or, um, compose yourselves because I understand that um, a lot of people who are in the mental field either experienced abuse themselves or simply want to help people so it can be very challenging for certain professionals when they let's say have a client that had a similar trauma to them that could um, bring up PTSD symptoms so um, they explained to me that there are resources in place like most of the time therapists have therapists <laughs> which I found really funny and she said for her specific office, they have like a separate room, like a, a little calm room with like plushies and shit <laughs> for the staff to use. And she said also for, depending on what clinic, I guess the counselor works at, like a counselor can like kind of pick and choose which um, clients they accept. So like if a if a client is specifically focusing on like childhood trauma and let's say the therapist has like PTSD surrounding that they could choose to not select that client I guess. I never ask my therapist things like that. Well it's because like I have phases where um I can be like hyper empathetic and like all I can think about is like how other people feel and I don't uh, acknowledge how I feel and then there's other times where I'm like hyper focused on what I'm feeling so because there was a few times when I wasn't counseling I'm gonna re-enroll at some point I, I'll do it um there were like a few times where I would end the session and think I'm like oh is my like counselor okay because I understand that everybody has their own traumas like different levels um this was months, almost a year ago, oh my god. But I remember there was one night I was staying up, I was like, are counselors, like, okay? Like, how, how do they deal with things? And then I just asked my counselor during our next visit, like, what their procedure was, and she explained it. And I felt a little bit better. Because I was considering going into, like, um, some type of social service type work before I was disabled. <laughs> well, now. Because <laughs> I just like the idea of helping people. But from, like, anecdotal, uh, anecdotal stories I've heard, like, online and shit, it can be very draining. Because you have to understand that there's a limit that you can do as a professional or somebody who works with, like, DSHs, for example. Like, you can't necessarily help or give everybody the help that they need just due to like lack of government resources or time so I think it would be too much for me easy plus six dollars you know what else is easy um Following the channel, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Oh, 
Um, let's talk about something else. Like, something fun. Like, pressure washing. I tried the guava cookie from Crumble this week, and I was a little bit disappointed. Guava is one of my favorite flavors. My grandma used to have a guava tree, so we would make like, or she would make guava jelly every year for us and mail it during Christmas. Um, so I know what real guava tastes like. And the crumble cookie, it was like labeled as a guava vanilla like swirl frosting, which it was, but the cookie that I got was like 80% vanilla and only like 20% guava. And guava is a very like unique flavor in my opinion. To me it tastes kind of grainy. What does it taste like? Ooh, okay. Um guava jelly is similar to like the texture of strawberry or guava itself. I don't think I've ever had like a, a raw guava. Imagine a slightly more acidic and twangy strawberry. But that's kind of what it tastes like. And guava to me always tastes a little bit grainy. But it's like a- it tastes like- You know how like real sugar is kind of grainy? It kind of has that texture a little bit. If you ever go to the shop and you see Pog, Passion Orange Guava Juice, try it. Dude, there's like the Hawaiian little, you know the little cans of Hawaiian juice? I forgot what the brand is called, but they have a guava one. Is it sweet like a strawberry? Yes. I mean, usually the products you got you buy are like loaded with sugar. I think it's Hawaiian's own is the brand? I don't know, I don't buy it often because it's way too expensive. Anyway, the cookie was alright, but it just needed more guava. But, like, guava is not popular in the States. You're not a fan of super taste sweet things? Okay, interesting. I do like papayas. Papayas aren't really sweet at all. At least I ain't cleaning the house. That would be hell. It deadass looks like there was an explosion in the backyard or some shit. Okay, I think I'm doing pretty good. Ooh, papaya milkshake sounds pretty good. Oh, I... I forgot, like, at, at grocery stores I've seen they have, like, papaya, like, smoothie mixes. Because I think I bought, like, a breakfast mix that had pineapple, papaya, mango, and strawberry. It's not my favorite, I'll be honest. I just like raw papaya. I don't like getting smoothies as much. Because if I'm going to get a smoothie, I want it to be super sweet. Best smoothie from Jumbo Juice is the peach one. Nothing will beat it. And if you go 
of Jamba Juice, you can order like a catering order that has 10 smoothies on it. If I ever open a piece in underscore 17 office, I will order Jamba Juice smoothies every morning. That'll be one of the <laughs> that'll be one of the benefits. Free smoothies. Guys, this game is pretty satisfying, I <laughs> I'm trying to do the bit with, like, a straight face, but I never can. Dude, I didn't even, like, do the top half here and it marked it as clean. Love that. I swear I'm not hacking. Yeah, I didn't even... I didn't even clean the side in it. Already marked it as clean. Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Yeah, Sheila told me to go to the doghouse. After she saw all those Instagram girlies. Yeah, she left the bowl just for us out. <laughs> She even put my favorite water in there. Vodka. She loves me so much. Hi, Mac. You guys want to hear a hot take? People who wear shoes and doors are disgusting. If you're gonna wear shoes and doors, wear like an inside pair, but don't wear it out. Because once you wear your in outside shoes inside, you're tracking in all the dirt and shit on your shoes inside. It's so gross. The take was too hot. I literally was just gonna say that. <laughs> okay, let's see if it's synced. I keep getting sniped by auto mod. Yeah, I think sniped is a block term. Oh, it's not. Let's make snipe a blog term. What are you saying? Are you saying like a slur? I s oh yeah, kill is a blog term. <laughs> that is actually a blog term. Uh, the reason why that one is a block term is because, like, I don't want, 
Yeah, dead is also a blocker. And the main reason why is like, I don't want somebody coming in and being like, oh, my dog died. What am I supposed to say? Sorry feels bad, man? Like... <laughs> Be like that streamer, yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't type F. F is another one that makes me anxious. <laughs> Cause like to me, F means like, oh, stream disconnected. So whenever I see F, I'm like, OBS again? Okay, don't be writing these down in a notepad to use on a day when you like hate me, okay? I'm explaining to be transparent, not to give the haters ammunition. Um, guys, type one if you're a hate watcher. Mods, ban anybody who says one. Not even kidding. One day, Mac, that bit will not be a bit, and I'm seriously gonna commit. Oh, I think in October, um, they're gonna make an update to where if you ban somebody from your stream, it'll automatically block them. Or make it so where they can't watch your stream anymore. Which Twitch should have done ages ago. Apparently, that update to the feature is only available to certain, like, beta Twitch streamers. Um, but it's gonna be available to everybody in October, I think, I saw. Because before, if you ban somebody from your stream, they can still watch and lurk, they just can't type. And they can still follow your channel. But pretty soon, it'll make it so if you ban somebody, they're unable to watch, unless they have, like, an alt. It's wild that it didn't work that way before. I have a theory, a game theory, because if you get banned, depending on what creator it was, you might have like generally liked them, so you'd probably like watch them still. So maybe it was to like just keep the user that got banned on the platform still and watch the content still, or just give them more ad revenue. Because if somebody is banned, they're no longer able to subscribe. Like that was a very funny setting to me. Because that means if somebody was banned for whatever reason, they could still watch, but they would have to watch ads. Ooh, Harper Drama! Hey, Doc. Bumped into the park warden. He definitely needs your help. Oh my god, I'm getting so many jobs now. I'm so popular. Is this what it feels like to be the, um, high school king? Or prom king? Okay, this stone is hell. You know what else is hell? Watching ants. Because we are two hours in the stream. Two hours in my shift, guys. Um, If you want to avoid that ad, I gotta do subscribe for 4 a.m. I cannot talk. I've been up since 4 a.m. Because our fire alarm went off randomly. I don't know why. It's fine. It just does that sometimes. So I've been up since 4. Anyway. Subscribe for 4.99 or if you have a Amazon Prime account. You can link your Prime to your, to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you can take advantage of the September discounts or if you have a free Prime available. Smile. Yeah, imagine subscribing for $50. Holy moly. But I would still get a shit sub split. <laughs> Back to work. No time off task.
They be like streamers pay us. Dude, I am low-key scared of that happening. Because the main reason why they um, decreased the sub split for partner streamers or they're keeping the sub split 50-50 is because they were like, Oh, the cost to maintain the servers for every streamer costs so much money. So that's why we're keeping the sub split the way it is to cover server costs. And it's like, okay, valid, but it's like, why is it so much? Like, just take money from something else, not the creators? Like, you know? Yeah, so, like, my my concern is, like, imagine they have, like, a monthly fee to, like, either stream on the platform or keep your video archive up. Because even now, I personally subscribe to Twitch Turbo, so that means I get ad-free viewing across Twitch, and if you're a streamer, it means your streams will stay archived on Twitch for up to two weeks, inst or, sorry, two months instead of the one week. So... It's ten or it's it's now more than ten dollars. It's like thirteen dollars after taxes for me. Um, like I don't mind paying that out because I have other perks with it. But I I do imagine a time where they would charge like a flat out monthly fee. So similarly, similarly to like web hosting fees, they would just put that put that onto the creator. Finishing those one bag yard is gonna take all of stream. I mean, I have a full eight hours. If you want to stream in 1080, yeah, that's probably what... Um, Twitch dev, um, don't listen. We don't want to give you ideas. But I, I can see that happening at some point. That is why, everybody, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Can we get to a billion subscribers? Um, subscribe to the main channel for weekly stream highlights and the clips channel for daily shorts and funny clips from stream. That's why I think it's important. For any um, person who's doing something creatively in any form, whether it be video, stream, art, any type of creative field, you have to build a social presence on the majority of the mainstream social media platforms. Like, you can't put all your eggs in one basket, per se. Because if you get um, B-A-N-N-E-D from a platform, or if the platform changes its UI, it could drastically affect your reach. <laughs> Time to be a Discord streamer with all my kittens? No! Guys, that's why I don't have a Discord. I don't want any kittens. Besides the real deal. I don't like the RP shit. You know, that's something I reserved for you. No, I meant your mother's. God damn it. <laughs> your mother's and me alone. Okay, I'm 43% done. I've been on this job for... Oh my god, an hour and a half. Lamel. This is real work, ain't it? Quit on the spot. <laughs> okay, chatters, what is your guys' like dream jobs? My dream job is to do something creative in any vein. Like if I could do illustration, that'd be cool. I think working like an office job I think would be kind of fun. I think a house painter could be a little bit fun. Music or content creation? Mm-hmm. I mean, you're studying, like, computer shit right now, Mac. I'd like to do writing. Ooh. The thing with any creative career is that you just have to make shit. You know, you have to make things on your own. To either build your own style and brand gradually over time or so that clients will see that you've done something like let's say you're trying to build like an illustration portfolio if clients only see that you have like practice work or work that you've done in school then 
it makes you seem like an amateur. Like, you have to make projects that you put your whole heart and soul into. You just gotta make good shit. And then hopefully someone will notice you. Also, get more active in your local, like, art scenes. Like, go to the museum, go to the community events. A lot of the time, your work can spread through word of mouth. Because there's somebody from my high school, I didn't really talk to them, I wish I did. But after they graduated, uh, they became a traveling mural artist. They're currently on break, but they did over like a hundred murals over the course of three years, which is insane. But they're like an independent artist and illustrator now, and it's kind of cool. It's so funny seeing, like, parts that are clean and the other parts that are disgusting. It's like when your mom tells you to go clean and you only clean the visible side. work on an RPG maker project? Nice! Keep us updated on that. I, I personally love RPGs. So if it's good, I'll play it on my own time. I'm a sucker for story shit. <laughs> and I think another thing when it comes to creative thing, or creative careers like you have to commit to things like i know i struggle with this as well i know for the art website guys um check on my shopify shop i sell paintings smile um obviously that's on break because i can't have too much income if i'm going to be on disability that's the main reason why it's been on hiatus for a little while um I don't know when I'll be able to release more paintings. I really do, but it could be just maybe I can make work or make pieces rather and then release them once I'm able to sell them properly. Because the problem now is that for the benefits that I'm receiving for disability is I cannot make more than a hundred dollars a month and if I do I have to disclose it and then they remove however much I earn from my benefits so let's that's why I had to stop donating plasma because even if I made like a hundred dollars a month from it I'd have to disclose it and then they would take away a hundred dollars from the four hundred dollars that I receive every month so then I'd only get three hundred dollars in benefits so it, it's kind of silly. Um, the restrictions will be different if I get approved for full SSI. Because um, if you're on full SSI, you can have up to like a thousand dollars of income. The subathon is scary. Don't worry, because for the Twitch income, since I got like a tax return, they only compound that income annually. So basically whenever the fiscal 2023 year ends, they would get a new monthly average income from Twitch. And then they would have to adjust my file. So I'll be fine. Cause like, usually, cause what I had on file for what I earned from Twitch on average was $100. That's an average, right? For the year of 2022. And that was my first year being monetized as an affiliate. Yay. So obviously if it's an average, that means like some months I made less than 100, some months I made more. Uh, I think the most I made in a month on Twitch was 300. 
And I think that was during last year's subathon. Yay. Um, but this year, the lowest I've made in a month on Twitch was $52. And that was last month. Which is what I anticipated because I told the Oilers to hold for September. So if I make a little bit more in September, which I'm anticipating because we're doing the subathon, then it would average out probably by the end of the year. So it's fine. So guys, go crazy. <laughs> But it is very stressful because I wouldn't even be able to do like an odd job because I would have to disclose it, right? Which, um, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm not. <laughs> I would never lie. Because if I lose the current benefits that I'm on, then I would not be eligible for SSI at all. So I have to be very careful and not get any money. That That's another reason why I disabled the um, TTS tips for Streamlabs. Because that could be another form of income technically. Because that income is disclosed separately than the Twitch tax return income, right? So that's a separate tax form. How much time is one sub for the Sumathon? One sub equals five minutes. Same as last year. So if I get 100 subs, that'd be 500 minutes. Oh my god, that'd be 9 hours. Dude. Guys, don't go crazy. <laughs> Please. And honestly, like, I'm comfortable where I'm at. Like, I'm very grateful that I have family to support me right now. By family, I mean my sister. Um, so, like, I'll be fine. It's just... I probably will never be able to live on my own if I'm receiving government benefits. Which is fine. You know, I don't mind being on the government cheddar. Like, I don't have any shame in it. I think the government should provide. But it's still very daunting. Because, let's say, if I ever get into, like, a relationship, that is something that would have to be, like, discussed. That's something that they would have to be aware of. Like, I probably will never be able to get married. Which I don't want to do anyway. Because marriage is dumb. <laughs> um, Or I probably will not be able to have a house or a car in my name ever because with certain disability benefits um, depending on which assets are in your name it can affect your eligibility so what happens a lot is a lot of disabled people fall into like financial abuse situations or they get like trapped because they'll have to have assets that are theirs technically be in other people's name like their parents or their spouse's names so then, let's say the spouse leaves, then you have nothing. Okay, I'm almost done with this chair. So it's like, I can either work full time and like work myself to very unhealthy, <laughs> be very unhealthy and work and exert myself or, you know, struggle for a little bit and have government money. Okay, what is left on this fucking chair? 
And, like, I'm not saying this to farm. I'm just being very transparent because I know me. Um, I didn't know any of the logistics in terms of, like, DSHS or anything before I started applying. Like, I wish I would have known a little bit more. Um, because the sad reality is that 10% of Americans are disabled to varying degrees. So a very high percentage of the population is not able-bodied. And you never know when it could happen to you. Like, you don't know if you could have an underlying condition. You don't know if there will be some type of, like, traumatic event. Or if somebody close to you will have these experiences. Oh, it's right here on this chair. Easy. So, that's why. Like, I was watching this one anecdotal video. And it was talking about, like... Similar to any form of advocacy, the best thing you can do if you're not part of the marginalized group is to highlight those voices and still spread um, and encourage policy that will help them. Because I can understand not wanting to advocate or not feeling as comfortable advocating for like, um, whether it be like identity issues or related to queer issues or like racial politics because it's a lot harder if you're like not POC, if you're not queer to like talk about those issues because obviously you don't have those lived experiences. But I think when it comes to certain things about like disability or like just general like social standings, so like access to food, access to housing, I feel like anybody can advocate for those things because those things can happen to any type of person in the states. That's another reason why I don't get why people don't like socialism. <laughs> like, it's, it would help everybody. You know? Anyway, that's my little um, rant, guys. Be nice to people and advocate for others who are in lesser situations. Smile. I don't know why they would care so much about such low income if you're disabled. I know, it's dumb. It's because they don't want people exploiting it because technically if you're federally acknowledged as disabled, you have limitations. So meaning that you cannot perform a traditional job to the fullest extent. So limitations could be like, oh, you cannot lift more than 50 pounds or um, you are unable to stand for X amount of time. Like, limitations have to be something... Not tangible, like, kind of... Numeric is not the right word. Guys, it's 11-11, make a wish. Um... How, how do I explain it? I don't know. Like, it has to be, like, a very... There's, like, a very clear and strict guideline to what limitations it can and cannot be. Because, obviously, different workplaces have different, like, demands. Because the first time I got denied disability at all was because they were like, Oh, you're technically not disabled because you don't have a di di diagnosis and... They gave me a list of jobs that I could do, and they were like, Oh, you can be, like, an office worker and work the printer machine. Or you can be a secretary. And it's like, cool. But... Um... Hmm... Because there's, like... When it comes to disability, there's levels to it. So there's, like, the classic people who are in, the, like, wheelchairs. Um, so that is, like, obviously a more debilitating disability to where, like, you're physically not able to go where you need to go. Um, and then there's, like, more cognitive disabilities to where, like, you have issues with, like, processing directions or issues... I shouldn't say issues. Or, um, difficulty is a better word. Or if you have difficulty, like, moving your fingers. Like, there's... Obviously, somebody who is in a wheelchair will have a lot more barriers when it comes to traditional workplace. Because that is a lot harder to accommodate. Um, but someone like me who has mobility issues, like, not moving, but just in general motor function, 
there are probably a lot more jobs that I could do than somebody who has a more um, physical habilitation. <laughs> like, where are you gonna work where you, the only job you do is printer? I know, it's stupid. Like, I remember I cried reading that letter because I was like, this is so dumb. Like, what job? It, it's also hard because, like, dot. When you're applying to jobs, too, I need to talk more. Talk more. work. <laughs> I'm guessing a small percentage of people actually exploited it, but they enrolled it for everyone. I don't know if that's how it happened, but there was, like, key moments in legislation that made it a lot harder to apply for certain government benefits. And I think it was during the Reagan era, era so L. Reagan. Oh, there's an old man at my dad's job who does that. It probably took a lot for him to get that job. And it's a lot easier for a government job to have accommodations. But for private companies, like, they can be a lot stricter with um, the requirements they have. Um, I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but I'm kind of having this problem with helping my sister apply for jobs. Um... He's been at the job forever. Okay. That could be the scenario of, let's say you're at a job currently and you become disabled. Okay. That's a whole different scenario. Because if you're currently employed somewhere and you, um, you can request to move or change positions within a company, or you can request to have different com accommodations with your current position. I, I mean like applying for a new job with your current limitations. Like, we don't know if that guy's been working just the printer the whole- his whole career, you know? Anyway, so, the problem my sister is having is... When you're applying to jobs, you don't necessarily need to disclose that you have a disability. And disability can be like ADHD, that's considered a disability. Um, you don't have to disclose it, but the only time in which you should disclose it is once you have the job. You would have to talk to like the company's HR team and they will help you, or you have to request accommodations. Like they won't just give it to you. Because typically only HR and maybe higher management will know about your condition. And an accommodation can even simply being able to wear, like, headphones at work. Like, not all accommodations are, like, um, I guess more noticeable. Or it, it can even simply be, like, requesting to have dimmer lights in your office space. If you have, like, light sensitivity. But that would have to be done through, like, your HR department. So, main point, um... Because an employer can legally not discriminate during the hiring process because um, that's why you see like every single company on their about page being like a equal opportunity company. It's like, yes, you have the equal opportunity to apply and get the job theoretically, but there are a lot more barriers in place once you're, able, once you're actually hired on. That's why I personally choose whenever whenever I did apply to stuff or whenever I tell my sister when she's applying I'm like don't check off your identity don't check off your sex or gender um, don't do any of that shit because even if they don't look at it like I still think they do I wish like on resumes you didn't have to put your name because there always will be some residual type of bias like Hmm, how do I say this without snitching? I personally think, anecdotal, um, an employer will be less likely to hire a foreign name or a foreign sounding name. Or if it looks hard to say. Not saying that I saw it happen. Wink. But I assume it does. Oh wait, I can say it. This person doesn't work for that company anymore. So, <laughs> one of my old Subway managers, 
She wasn't the best. Um, she was kind of racist, like a little bit. <laughs> like she said like the N word in front of us twice. White lady. Um, and she never said it. She never said it. Because there was one day when I had to help- this was when I was like a system manager. I had to like help her look through applications. And she had like pulled aside- oh wait. Hold. Hold. Mug a W. Twitch! <laughs> They're like, no! Stop talking, Peason. Dude, what is wrong with the bitrate? It's like 8k, 4k. Hold. Keep holding. What is happening? I'll keep working. I'll wait until it fixes itself. Hey, it's still dropping. What the fuck? I'm not noticing anything on mine. Yeah, it should look fine. It's just on my end, it says I'm dropping like 10 frames at a time. Which is aight, but not ideal. Anyway, I'll, I'll continue. Like, it looks like it's... It's fine. Anyway, so there was one time I had to, like, help her look through applications. So she had, like, printed off people's resumes and stuff. And the ones she had set aside to speak with... Were, like... Like, white-sounding names. Is what I'll say. She didn't explicitly say why she pulled those people aside. To request an interview with, but, like... Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I think resumes and applications, they should have no name when recruiters are looking at it. I think they should only see the skills and experience. Because I think that's far more important anyway. Why is it still dipping? What is going on? Hmm. Peace I to whom? Okay, internet's fine. OBS says there's nothing wrong, but there's obviously something wrong. Damn, that's like wild. Okay, so it's still dipping. I almost unplugged my internet cord. <laughs> Intrusive thought. That can't be it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna see what it looks like on mobile. And then I'll continue. Because it says it's dipping between 6 and like 2k. Which it should not be doing. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it's also not loading on mobile. Oh, there's now it's loading. Okay, five. I'm gonna see the thousands out loud. Five, five, five. Six, six, five, six, one, five, six. Yeah, it looks fine. Of course, right when I pull it up, it works again. Ooh. Four, six, seven, five. Six, three, three. Huh. Okay, well, I don't know. You That is yet to happen. Um, guys, does it look fine? I think it looks fine. Maybe I can disable variable dip, bit rates. Let's see. I haven't seen much difference. Yeah, visually, it should look fine. It's just... I think it, it would look drastically different if there was sort of like a Mario Kart stream. Like, if Mario Kart was dipping to 2k bitrate, it would look like very, very pixely. But since this is a non as, like, visually intensive game, there won't be much visual difference. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, let's just keep going. If it, if it crashes, it crashes. It, uh, it's triggering me. Because in OBS, it has, like, your... Because usually, okay, the stream knowledge, usually... Your bit rate, or I have my bit rate settings set to about 6,000, so it should maintain at around 6,000 per second. But right now, it's it's going up to like 7, and then it'll dip to 5 or 3. So it's like a little color-changing icon that I see in my peripheral vision. And whenever your bit rate drops, then your frames drop, so usually it would look choppy, but it doesn't look like it's doing that. When you moved, I could kind of tell. See? See? Yeah, it says I'm dropping like three frames a second now. I don't know. And like, Obia says there's nothing wrong. Do I need a new computer? Maybe it's time. Yeah, it still says there's nothing wrong. Very strange. Yeah, I've never had this happen. I can see all frames. Hi, Ethan. Can we get some yos? Hi. You know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to try disconnect and reconnect the capture cards because maybe it's just overloading my computer. Is it not a piece in underscore 17 stream if there's not tech issues? You know, classic stream today, guys. I unplugged my camera on purpose. I wonder if I unplug my ethernet. <laughs> But I feel like it crashed the whole thing. Oh wait, it's been stable. Nope. Mega dance. 
<laughs> wow, there's two of me. You probably don't want to unplug the internet, yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Cut your electric cable work from the ground up? Now that's a master plan. I should do that for sure. Where's my camera? Right here. Right here. Yeah, the bitrate is still dropping. I'm going to scream. Of happiness and joy. Okay, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. And then I will disconnect my Ethernet cable. You also record your stream when you stream? No. Because if I did that, it'd be way too much on my processors. It would literally tank it. I've considered doing that. That way I can get slightly higher res, but it's not really worth it. Do you like Doja's new album? Um, I didn't listen to it. But apparently everyone hated it, so I don't think I'm going to listen to it. Okay, we are going to attempt to stream on Wi-Fi. Guys, get ready. Okay. Guys. <laughs> that was so silly. <laughs> okay. So, I... Connected to my Wi-Fi. <laughs> and then it instantly froze. <laughs> and then I unplugged the Ethernet to try and reset it. Lomo, is it still dropping? Yep, it's still dropping. Bruh, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to do a hard reset. I might have to restart OBS or my computer. I don't want to. Just play in slow-mo? That's stupid, though. It's gonna ruin it for the VOD watchers. Because, <sighs> look, it says I've dropped a thousand frames, so 37% of the whole stream is now dropped frames. That's really bad. That's really bad. Guys. We can hear you well, at least, yeah. Guys. I might have to restart my computer. <laughs> OBS. Wi-Fi streaming. Don't stream from Wi-Fi. 9% drop frames. Um, This can only be caused by failure in your internet connection or your networking hardware. It's not caused by OBS. <laughs> okay, let's look at the troubleshooting. Enable network optimization. Okay, Windows settings. Um, text stream. Windows settings advanced. Oh, wait, it's here. Nope. File settings. Advanced. Um, advanced network enable. Oh. Damn it. I can't change the setting when I'm live. Fuck. Okay, guys. I think I have to reset. I think I have to restart. Okay. I will be back. Give me like five minutes. Can you guys promise that you'll wait? If I reset it, it should fix it. Because I have to close OPS and enable a new setting. I promise I'll come back.
Okay? I promise. I'm not crossing my fingers. I promise I'll come back. Wait. It's stabilizing? Ow. Ow. Guys, <laughs> um, I'm going to make the executive decision and restart my computer. Okay. Okay. I will see you guys in five minutes. While you guys are waiting, while you guys are waiting, well, the pin message is no longer there. Guys, while you are waiting for me to come back, while you're waiting for peace in underscore 17 to come back, Keep the pinned message. I need your help. Send a, send a clip to the big Twitch people. Okay? That is your guys' job when I'm gone. Okay? I'm gonna reset. Okay? Get to work. <laughs>